Hey there, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. Going to give you an update on our demo room. We're expected to have this room done mid-December now. It just keeps getting pushed out because we're so busy. Uh, what we've ended up doing is we've ordered the uh, Klipsch behind the screen system and signed up as a behind the screen system dealer. Uh, we'll be one of the only people up here in Washington State that uh, will have a behind the screen system on display. Uh, we'll be taking appointment only uh, visits to uh, review this uh, as we continue the room and get it finished up. Uh, this behind the screen system is pretty neat. It basically entails five individual cabinets that go as it, as it notes behind the screen. Uh, we're running a Seymour screen, uh, their 4K Neo screen. Uh, these will sit about six inches behind that screen. We're going to uh, uplight all the speakers with an RGBW light strip so when we're in a demo mode or just uh, maybe even just listening to music we can have the lights up lighting these speakers um, the nice thing about these is they're uh, they're modular design so we're basically gonna continue and uh, reframe in our opening uh, about a hundred and two inch by 56 inch opening to a hold these and uh, it sits about 20 inches deep uh, we have 40 inches so we have plenty of room and depth except for one corner which we're gonna do some customization um, a couple cool facts about that is these speakers use the same drivers and woofers in a lot of the Klipsch uh, cinema speakers the real cinema speakers that you would see in a uh, oh an AMC or a Regal I'm sure uh, one of the other um, on those I know Klipsch does a ton of stuff in the uh, pro audio market for that they do Nike for their um, audio and so on um, nice thing about these is these are super super sensitive speakers 107 dB um, have a ton of output. Matter of fact, their recommended amplifier power alone is uh, minimum is 200 watts. Uh, on the subs, it's 500 watts. Um, we're running audio control amplifiers. Um, our LCRs will be on an analog uh, amplifier bridged, and then our subwoofers are 1,000 watts. So we're we're literally doubling the recommended power. And uh, go over here on a couple other things that, uh, of note. Uh, 648 pounds for the full system um, and then here's the recommended screen screen width 102 inch to 112 our screen width is actually 108 inches uh, and then the price of this package is roughly 25,000 on the retail market and then what we'll be doing for our uh, sides um, let me pop these up we're going to do the KPT 8060s for several reasons they have a uh, wide horizontal coverage the vertical is not quite as much and we have a lower ceiling height um, and these will be custom mounted into the wall so we don't really need the angled feature of them but that's what we'll end up using um, again these are high output this is on their cinema speaker line which we'll be a dealer for and then a couple other things to note our rear surround we cannot do a, a rear surround in the wall so we're doing the pro 180 rpc this was uh, Klipsch's uh, best solution for our room. Um, there's a door in the back of our room, so there's just there's no option to put a rear speaker in. Um, but if you look at the uh, the way this driver is with their horn, it's uh, it's effectively going to be two feet taller up than where our surround speaker would be. It should work just perfect. And then our Atmos, we'll be doing the uh, Pro 160 RPC in ceiling speaker. Four of these. And uh, these are actually back boxed, and you won't see uh, any of these speakers. All the speakers are behind Fabric Wall, uh, Guilford and Main with the Kinetic Stretch Track, um, and the uh, Atmos speakers are behind our Star Ceiling. Um, not much more to go over that. I'll do a full video on this room as we start moving forward. Um, it's about at 80% right now, and we'll do videos on the unboxing of the behind the screen system. Uh, as well as the full speaker package. It's all showing up on the same palette. And uh, if you have any questions on this, we're starting to learn more and more about the behind the screen systems, but there's a ton of info online. A um, lot of reviews from 2019, so be careful because the part numbers have changed and a few of the specs have changed um, into the 2020 uh, systems here. I uh, hope this video helps and I uh, hope you guys will uh, subscribe and we can uh, show you some of our cool projects coming up. We have uh, three or four large projects coming up in 2021 and uh, wrapping up some large pre-wires this year um, for those jobs. Uh, thanks, have a good day.